My wife and I were sitting uh, at a kitchen table one time. My, our sons were grown, and I happened to say, you know, I kind of miss having a baby around. And Ramsey immediately perks up and says, you know, I thought the same thing, but I was afraid to tell you. So a year later, we held this uh, little girl in her hand with a full head of hair and morning glory lips. <laughs> and so now a lot of time's gone by, and now she's uh, married the man of her dreams, the man of my dreams, too. <laughs> Mick and I have known each other since the sixth grade. I have also had the pleasure of watching Mikhail and Brand's relationship grow from the beginning to now their new chapter of marriage. Although I have to tell you that it all wasn't quite love at first sight. Well, at first meeting. In fact, she wasn't too impressed with the fresh meat that appeared at a party many moons ago. For those of you who don't know the story, let me give you the Spark Notes version. A bunch of us attended a house party one summer night in 2010, where I arrived a bit earlier than Mick. No shocker there. I was first introduced to Brandon through one of our friends. He was adorable, nice, new, and someone was bound to want to get to know him more. He shared with us he had a tattoo on his back, but if you know me, you know that I would never be the one to ask him to take off his shirt to show us. But you bet that when Michaela arrived, she would be, of course, the one to get him to do that. As she entered the party later, I introduced her to Brandon, and she wasn't too impressed at first by the new guy in the group. I mentioned the tattoo comment, and she said, well, take off your shirt, let's see it. Sure enough, as quick as a whip, he took off that shirt. Let's just say she caught his attention, and it wasn't too much longer that Michaela was hooked on BAM, as we like to call him. Brian and I have known each other for 30 years now. And as kids, we didn't always get along. I've got the scars to, to prove it. <laughs> but as we got older, we've grown closer together. I even let him stay in my house for a little while. While he was there, he took up culinary arts, always hanging out in some bakery. But I never benefited from that because I never seen one damn cookie. Making a bandana? Yeah. <laughs> put it, put it down. <laughs> yeah, that's in there. Right, this one. <laughs> Brandon, you have the patience of an angel, mostly because you can handle the fact that with Michaela, almost everything add about 20 minutes to it. Anything with Mick involves a glam makeup session, finding the right outfit, making sure Winston is good to go. And with that takes time, that is not always on her side. But hey, that's what makes her Mick. Not to mention, who else would be a guest star on her YouTube channel and do a bomb highlight? And what? As cliche as it sounds, you two are truly made for one another. Brandon is the orange to Michaela's tequila shot. Yes, I said orange because she prefers the orange to lime. And Brandon finds joy being that orange. To get the full value of joy, you must find someone to divide it with. I am so happy you two have each other to share your joy with. They feel good. They feel good just right there. I admire your confidence, your hardworking attitude, and how you refuse to give up on your dreams and aspirations for the future. I admire the fact that you are an, you're an open book and absolutely not shy about anything, and have a tendency of making me blush when it comes to inappropriate conversation, especially in public. I am accepting it slowly, but you know how I am.
Michaela is kind-hearted and a great woman. I know you'll take care of my brother the best you can. And Brandon will always take care of Michaela the best he can because she's the greatest thing to ever happen to him. But we all know who wears the pants in the family. <laughs> yeah. I'm happy to call you my sister and my family. A toast to the bride and groom. Michaela, I stand here today in front of our friends and family, not nervous or scared, but proud. I'm proud to stand here as your best friend, looking towards our future. I'm proud of what we have been through and what we will conquer in the future. I'm most proud to be able to call you my wife. With that said, I pledge my love. I promise to always love you without hesitation. I promise to care for you in time of need. I promise to support your dreams as well as our path for the future. I promise that I will always be here for you as a best friend and a husband. I promise to always be by your side for the rest of our lives. You're my sun, moon, and stars. I love you. My dearest Brandon, I find that of all the times in my life, here and now, I'm at a loss for words, which is truly shocking notion, I know. <laughs> I can't believe this day is here. I've waited what seems like a lifetime to finally celebrate everything that we've been through over the past eight years, and I finally get to become your wife. I thank God every day that you're my best friend. No one else on this planet makes me feel so full or believes in me the way you do. I always thought it'd be difficult to find someone who'd love me in all eight million of my emotional flaws, <laughs> you always make me laugh and you just have this look in your eye and this soft smile on your face and it makes me feel so calm <laughs> so here and now I promise to continue to always be your best friend and I vow to lift you up and never waver in support of all your endeavors you're such a hard worker and I truly believe you deserve all that the world has to offer I vow to always support your crazy cooking experiments and most importantly, I vow to always cheer for the Pittsburgh Steelers instead of the Philadelphia Eagles. <laughs> Lastly, I know what we have is very rare, and I know we aren't blind to the love and we're lucky enough to have found it. So we must do everything in our power to never give up. We owe it to one another in this life to never give up, and I promise to always fight for this unity. I love you. And I have one more thing to say. Brandon, take good care of my baby. Don't you ever make her blue. And if you really love her, tell her you're thinking of her in everything you say and do. Oh, take good care of my <laughs> baby. Keep her happy as can be. But if you should discover that you don't really love her, then bring my baby back home to me. Hold up, what is this feeling? I can't believe it's got me dreaming. The colors in my mind. Come on, the clouds are rolling for us, blue skies unfolding. Let's see how many we can find. Last night, baby, that was nothing. Take my hand, I'll show you something. I can't keep these feelings that I feel inside. I changed my mind. Oh, tonight, oh, tonight. Present to you for the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Brandon Ham. Love songs never been for us. 